Hi, welcome viewers to the Big Bender Studio. And today we have a very interesting piece of gear by Akai, the MPC Live 2. And we're going to be unboxing this gear here on the show. So please don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. All right, you're welcome back to this amazing channel. And uh, so I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Amos Kantiok. I'm a music producer and I've been doing production music for professionally for over 10 years. So I, I know a lot of my gear and I've been using Akai. Well, not this version. I've used the MPC 3000. I mean, that's one of the baddest babies in the market. You know, there's the MPC 3, 2000, 3000, 4000. There's the 5000, there's the MPC X, you know, and so, in today's video, we're gonna be looking at how it all compares to this. This is the new Akai MPC Live 2. And one of the most standout things about this is it is stand alone, like you had that right. Like you can just pull it out of the box and just get working without plugging into anything, right? It is battery powered, it is, I mean, it's just a wonderful piece of gear, so. Yeah, so we're gonna dive and we're gonna be unboxing this piece of gear that we just got like for Bitbender Studio and I want you to dive right in with us right now. So let's go in, right? Oh yeah, so let's unbox this work of art from Akai, you know. All right, so here we go. Right, wow, this is lovely. You can see, like, man, look at all this. This is just, this just gives you an overview of what you're expecting, right? So yeah, we can see this is very nice rugged packing. This is, a, I guess, the instruction manual. Please, yeah, I always read the instruction manual. Right, I know we as producers and whoever, we just buy the stuff and we just want to dig in and then when you hit a roadblock and be like, oh yeah, they have an instruction man, I always read this. So, but for now, let's keep this somewhere safe, right? I'll keep it on my monitor. All right, you can see the build is very nice. The packaging is so amazing, yeah. It's quite portable, right? Very portable. That's, oh, that's the uh, power cable, it dropped up power cable so let's take off the styrofoam package in right we have this here and oh yeah there's something here before i drop it i think the power supply this is the power supply psu power supply unit right skip it here we have this here also it comes supplied with uh, the usb cable right to plug in to your computer this connects the mpc light to your computer right good um so now let's uh take this up right uh -huh. okay this is rugged 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 here we go ha huh. such a baby right it's an amazing piece of gear i mean it's so portable now you can this is just to give you a reference for the size like you can see let me hold it arm's length right you can see now look at this this is it comes uh let's so let's talk about the features that it comes with this is like an inbuilt studio monitor this grill feels rugged and of course we're going to do another video where we put this into use and you can actually hear the sound of this baby right but right now this is what you know it comes with an inbuilt speaker so whatever you are you can just plug in of course you can turn it off right so you don't disturb people when you don't have to because they're headphones as well you can turn the speakers off but this is, comes in very handy when you're in a hotel or something you just want to work on some ideas it comes in very handy right now this is the seven inch tft screen right amazing from akai it's just it's amazing using this screen and a combination of knobs that you have here and buttons makes your workflow very easy from akai also of course if you've used an akai before 
you're familiar with their pods it's one of the best in the industry these pods by the way are rgb pods meaning they are color coded right it helps you walk around easy right so it's not like the other npcs that just had the beer pods these ones are color coded so they're rgb pods and it's amazing so now let's flip to the back i think we've We've covered the front of the screen, like these are, this is your master level in terms of volume. And these are your pad banks, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. If you have up to H right now, right? <laughs> Which is a lot of control, a lot of pods to go through. Now let's flip this over. Yeah, this is where it shines. The connectivity is, is crazy. There is a lot going on, I assure you, a lot. First off, you have the power button. You have to use it, you have to turn it on, right? So yeah, you know what that means. Next is the PSU plugin, yeah, to supply. Now, I don't know if I mentioned, this is battery powered, right? But you can plug directly into the power supply unit to give it DC supply. Now, when you take it off, there's an inbuilt battery. It's a rechargeable battery, so it, you can work without being plugged into the power supply. That's awesome. I mean, only that feature alone I'm already in love with this guy, you know? So then we have what internet connectivity, we have the LAN, we have the Q-Link. Now this is amazing. For those of you producers that have subscription on Splice and stuff like that, you can easily connect to your Splice accounts, get your samples and bring them here into this guy. Why? Because this guy has a 16 gigabyte onboard storage, right? 16 gig, that's a lot. And you can also expand it, don't forget, you can expand using all the various SATA drives and there's also an SD card. Okay, we're coming there, you see that. Now you have this USB connectivity. This connects to your computer, right? This one connects right to your computer. There's other USB ports where you can plug in your external drives, your thumb drives, whatever it is, you name it, you have it, right? Next up, familiar with this? These are the MIDI inputs and outputs, five pin MIDI and outputs. So what this means is that you can have two devices running concurrently or two MIDI control devices connected to this device. So you can have, say, uh, a Yamaha Motif on one, you can have uh, a Moog synthesizer on the other. You know, however you set up is left entirely to you, but this is awesome because you can plug multiple MIDI devices. Now, up here you can see the SD card. This is more storage for you, so you can store your projects, your files, your songs, whatever it is that you're working on, right? Then you have the regular um, TRS, and then we also have the RCA Phono. These are line turntable inputs, like from a DJ deck, you know, stuff like that. This will come in straightforward. Right, this is just a ground control, like for earthing purposes, you can put a cable here and run it to the ground, right? Then, yeah, we have the record volume control. This controls the level coming in. So when you're recording, or you're sampling from a DJ deck or from a turntable or something like that, this will control the level of what you're bringing into the, the Akai MPC Live. Now, yeah, and then we have our outputs, basically. The master outputs and then we have we have two more outputs. So this is left, right, left, right, left, right, right? So that's multiple outputs. So that means you could send this to your master monitor. You could send another output to another set, maybe to like a mixer. You could send it to another device that you want. So this is totally, totally awesome. And like I mentioned before, this is the speaker control. Now you can turn it off or turn it on. That is the monitor control, this is onboard monitor. So if you don't want your music or anything you're playing to come out of the monitors, you can turn it off. It's default in the off position right now. So we leave it there. And then finally we have, of course, headphones. You always need them, you know, so you don't want anybody to hear what you're working on. You put on your headphones and that's that. So basically, I mean, this is an awesome, awesome, awesome piece of gear, right? That we have here, you know, it's an amazing piece of gear. And this is new from Akai. You know, before this, they had the MPC Live, just MPC. That's like a mini portable version of this, right? It doesn't have the inbuilt monitor speaker for starters, and it's a bit smaller. But this one gives us the option of playing our music out via this built in studio monitors. And from what we hear is that these monitors are not just decorative monitors. They're really bad, 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 badass. Can we say ass? Yeah, badass, whatever. So, 
yeah, so this is the MPC. And right, the bottom of the MPC, right? This is where we have it. This is the expansion. There's an expansion slot here where you can add your drive. All right, so you can open it up and add your drive in here. It's an expansion slot for the MPC Akali Live. So yeah, that's it about the MPC Live 2. Um, so maybe we should turn it on before we go. We're not gonna do anything in this video. Next video, we're gonna show you how to walk around it, right? But I mean, just such a beauty. Let's just look at it coming on. Yeah, see the RGB pods. You can see how they lit up. And you can see it's booting. It's actually a computer, so it takes time to boot. So I, let's actually look at the time, number of time, that I'm at, the seconds it will take to boot. You know, when we get a new PC, we're like, what's the boot time? So, yeah, so I hope you're... So this is the first time we're turning on this machine, right? And we're waiting to see how it boots, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Perfect. I mean, this is awesome. Touch screen, seven inch touch screen. There you have it. All right. Okay, viewers, thank you for hanging out with us in this first video, you know, for the MPC Live 2. And um, you're welcome to follow us on this channel. Please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel for more information and main for review gear review for tips for yeah everything about studio production audio production and we'll bringing you more content as it comes our way so yeah have a wonderful day and goodbye